see into the future. 12 hours. What's up my real ones, Bayou Kitchen Guy here and I'm back with another video. On today I will be doing Tam's Table Red Pill Blue Pill 13K Celebration Challenge. Okay? What you do is you gotta have two cups. Okay? Um, One with a red drink. So this is my red drink here. Okay, strawberry kush, and one with a blue drink. So it's my blue drink here. Okay, so basically, okay, so basically, you have here the red pill and the blue pill. The red pill, you could teleport anywhere you want in the world with anything for 30 days. The blue pill, you can see 12 hours into the future, or is it 10 hours into the future for a week, okay? So teleport for 30 days or see into the future for a week. You have to choose one. The one I would choose but well, the one I'm going to choose is the red one. So, I'm going to choose the red one. I'm going to drink there. Put this to the side. So, that's that. Okay, you can eat any food item you want. Okay. I have a, um, a fried catfish po' boy. I have some fries. And I also have some chips too on the side that I wanted to try. So that's what I'm going to be eating on with my red pill. Okay, I have some tartar sauce and ketchup on the side. So let's get to this video. So what's up y'all? I hope everyone has a great day. A great night whenever you see this video. And shout outs to Tam's Table and congrats on your 13K. Also have some hush puppies here too as well. Let me try these chips. Yeah, I seen this. I seen this new flavor. Lay's Cheetos cheese. And I wanted to try them. Let me uh, limited edition. So I seen those and wanted to try it. They're pretty good. So the reason why I chose the red pill. Is because with choosing a blue pill, the future could be good or bad, you know. So, with the red pill, you could teleport anywhere in the world for 30 days. That's not like a one to me. So, I would teleport with my mother. And we would travel the world together.
The reason is why I killed my mother. We don't spend that much time together. So, there were days teleporting all around the world. He most definitely would get that quality time. These last three years, what I learned is, was very important. It was quality time. Spending as much time as you possibly can with loved ones. Because life is so short. Life is so short, y'all. So... One minute, someone here, and next minute not. <sighs> so that's the reason why I chose. The red pill. Because I can grab my mother's hand and teleport all around the world with her for 30 days. Y'all gotta admit that would be pretty dope. be able to do that. This catfish po' boy is so delicious. I want to also dedicate this video to the victims and the first responders that got killed on September 11th, September the 11th. Yeah, I will remember. I will remember it like it was yesterday. When I found out about it, I was in class. And the principal made an announcement over the intercom. I got home 
and I watched the news. Cause they will be playing it over and over and over again. I remember thinking, what kind of person would do something like that? What do they mind have to be at to be able to kill so many people? And actually, now that I brought that up, I knew this lady who I work with. She lost her father and her godmother in the September 11th attack. Her father was a fireman. And her godmother happened to be dating someone who worked in one of those buildings. And she was going to visit him because they was going to um they was going to lunch together. So she went over there to meet him. Y'all, that was crazy, right? She said she was eight years old when it happened. And she was devastated. I mean, of course, that's her dad. And she was real close with her godma. She said it was her best friend. And to lose two people on the same day. She said she used to have dreams about it. She was depressed for years. She said like two, three years before she completely got over it. And she still, at that time, wasn't 100% over it. She said her her godmother was trapped in an elevator. She made a phone call. Her godmother made a phone call to her father and her mother. And said she was trapped. She had no idea what was going on. She had no idea she was under attack because she was stuck in the elevator. I had no idea at all. So when she called her, when she called her parents, her parents were like, what's going on? Where you at? And she was like, you know, I was visiting my boyfriend and I got in the elevator and we got stuck. And then the, the, her mother said, two airplanes crashed into the building. She had no idea. Like she was in the elevator, had no idea what was going on on the outside.
So she, she talked all her loved ones to tell her loved ones that she loved them. Her father, and you know, when you're a fireman or you're a first response worker, you put your life on the line for others. So, going in it, going into that building, you know, it's a chance. You know, you pulling people out of elevators. You know, you going up the stairs trying to save people's lives. You know, it's a chance that you may not make it out, especially when a building's on fire and it's collapsing. He knew going into it, but And the crazy thing about it is, according to his co-workers, he was out the building. He heard a scream and went back in there. So... That was one of the, I think to this day, one of the craziest things that ever happened here in the United States. Of course, they had other things like bombs and stuff like that that happened afterwards, but that most definitely was the craziest. All right, y'all. I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, press that bell to be notified. Again, shout out to Tam Table and congratulations on your 13K. All right. See you on the next upload, y'all. Deuces.